Okay, welcome everybody. I would like to show you today a nice CAE software. It's called ECS CAD from Man and Machine. First of all, I would like to give you an overview um, of the user interface and the handling. I have a um, short movie and I uh, want to show you um, how the menu is organized. Uh, well, um, in general, um, ECS CAD is uh, AutoCAD based, so um, uh, you can use it uh, with AutoCAD or alone, because uh, in, then we have um, um, AutoCAD kernel inside, and uh, as you can see, um, we have um, a lot of um, uh, commands to and uh, menus and toolbars um, to design our um, schematics. To organize our projects, here we have the project manager. The project manager allows us to organize um, our projects. Um, each sheet is a DWG file, so AutoCAD drawing, and uh, it works together with an online database. Um, you don't need um, the commands in uh, the menu, just a right mouse click, and then we have here all uh, functions and commands to organize um, our projects, like in folders, in installations, or here uh, with our sheets, we have a pre um, preview uh, of each page of the project. And uh, we have all the commands we, now we need to organize or um, uh, copy uh, or paste and so on um, other projects. ECS CAD is not just for um, electrical design. Here we have um, also pneumatic or hydraulic. Um, and uh, the thing is that we can um, design um, different types of schematics in one project, one um, database. For example, here we have uh, PNIDs um, as well. Um, so we can combine um, PNIDs um, schematics with uh, the um, electrical um, schematics or here with our loops and uh, typicals. Everything works together and uh, of course we have a lot of outputs uh, like lists in uh, DWG files or um, with um, access reports. Here I want to give you um, some idea how we can um, manage and organize um, um, our schematics, our drawings. For example, here we have a sheet. And uh, very often um, it's needed to change um, some information. Uh, for, therefore we have um, the data editor. The data editor is a very nice tool to um, edit data, for example, device IDs, um, directly in a page or um, over the whole project. Um, we have um, Excel interface so that we can export um, information to Excel, um, edit them, and then um, import them back. Um, another nice tool is the Component Manager. The Component Manager gives us an overview our, of our devices, which we have uh, uh, placed in the project. Uh, for example, uh, here we have PLC, and here we see um, this PLC I.O. card has um, some, some free um, symbols, um, and uh, so it's very easy just to place the free um, inputs or outputs of, um, of a PLC. Um, so there's no need to um, to uh, find um, symbols in a, um, or search and find uh, symbols in the library. Um, just uh, click on uh, the IOs and then we have the right um, symbol um, and uh, can place them uh, on the sheet. Here we have um, the PLC tags, which are connected uh, to the card, uh, or here we have, um, it's called field, when you have um, some devices in other locations, 
um, or here we have um, our uh, wires and wire numberings. Okay, um, this was just an overview how we um, can um, construct our um, schematics and uh, electrical documentation. And uh, the next uh, thing is that um, I want to show you how we can um, uh, realize uh, electromechanical construction with Autodesk Inventor. And uh, after that, um, I want to show you how we can manage it, uh, the whole project with walls. Okay, but first, um, go to um, Inventor. I have a um, small uh, but very uh, nice and good example for uh, for you. This is just one sheet of um, a schematic. Um, here we have um, wires numbered um, and uh, between some uh, connectors. And now um, I export this information um, to um, Autodesk Inventor. Um, it's uh, realized by an XML file. Then we have the Autodesk Inventor Professional with the piping and uh, routing module for the cabling module. And uh, here we have um, now the possibility to import our information from ECSCAD to the three D model. Um, you have um, all my uh, wires and uh, also cables um, from the electrical design. Just push um, a couple of mouse clicks and then I have the information here in my uh, 3D model in Autodesk Inventor. Okay, and that's it. Now you can see uh, in, in uh, green and in blue um, the wires, but they are not defined. Um, so um, uh, with an, another mouse click, um, there's an automatic routing so that um, now I have my wires and uh, cables here in a um, deficient route, or defined route. Okay. So, so and now we have um, the exact length of all um, wires. And uh, I want to have the um, length in my schematic again in ECS CAD. So just um, mouse click to export the information, then switch to ECS CAD again, and then import um, the information from Inventor to my um, schematic. Yeah, and, and that's it. And now you see in millimeters um, the length of, of each uh, wire. Yeah, so this is really nice. So. Um, so here we have um, a good connection to Autotest uh, Inventor, and it's uh, real standard. Of course, uh, um, we have um, other um, construction drawings. Um, for example, uh, here um, from um, the cable design, uh, which comes from Autotest Inventor as a DWG file. Yeah, so here we have um, the harness. Yeah, with uh, the connectors and the lengths, and then um, of course it's uh, it's it would make sense to um, import um, the mechanical view of um, our three D um, model. Okay, yeah. So this is very really nice. So um, it's not necessary to draw this in the eCAD software just because it's AutoCAD based, just import it with um, normal AutoCAD functions. And last but not least, um, we can um, import the whole 3D model as a 3D DWG file to ECSCAD uh, as well. So um, the Electrical designer um, has the possibility to um, make a check in 3D um, what um, his colleague has done in Autodesk Inventor. So, 
So here we are. Okay. Yeah. So this is one big advantage. So we are, again we are in ECS CAD. Yeah. And here we have um, uh, the visualization of our 3D um, model. And of course we have um, all the, the the orbit functions. Yeah. To make an overview um, of uh, the 3D design. Okay, that's for that. And um, another thing is um, we um, want to export um, the whole documentation to uh, um, PDF. It's an intelligent PDF file. So we have here an own PDF uh, export, which is uh, absolutely intelligent. Um, so it's just not um, a normal PDF. So first of all, we can select um, the parts of our documentation, so the sheets, the connectors, and uh, the drawings. This tool is called um, ECS Publisher, and it's a part of ECS CAD. So here, just in, um, you, you just need um, a PDF reader, for example, from Adobe. And uh, first of all, uh, here I have my uh, uh, documentation, nice organized um, with our sheets. We have um, the possibility to navigate from um, the pins to an overview of um, the connectors. You have the harness, and here we have um, the uh, drawing. And uh, it's also possible to create um, uh, a list of all our devices. Yeah, so and here we can navigate um, to our um, symbols in the project. Another nice thing is that we can match a data sheet to our symbols, and uh, it will be embedded um, into the PDF format so that you can give your customers um, um, a good quality, a high quality um, documentation in the PDF file. Uh, and um, as you can here see it, it's uh, uh, multi-language. Yeah? So here we have uh, in German and in, uh, in English the whole documentation. These languages are coming from ECS CAD. Um, ECS CAD is a um, language database, and of course, uh, we can um, switch uh, the menu language um, to from maybe from German to English um, or to uh, Italian to French and so on. Okay, that's it uh, for this part, and uh, the last part is now more and more um, important. Um, here we have um, the Vault interface, the Vault integration. Uh, it's also standard, like uh, the uh, connection to um, Inventor. And um, we check in uh, the entire project to Vault, and um, it's uh, the native data and um, the PDF um, of the project and of the version when that um, project was checked in, or is checked in. So um, here we can see um, the, the ECS publisher creates the PDF in the background of uh, the project. So we have two formats. We have the native ECS CAD format, which is AutoCAD format, and then we have um, the PDF of um, our this, um, electric documentation of the whole project. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Yeah. You can see now we are here in uh, in Vault, and it's the same structure uh, um, of the project like we have it in uh, ECS CAD, and uh, of course possible to create uh, and to have a preview in Vault. Yeah. Of of the project, so that everybody who don't use ECS CAD 
um, has the possibility to check um, the project, to give me information, uh, what was the last uh, version, and so on. Yeah. yeah, I see how well to that um, we have the PDF. And uh, of course, it's also possible to um, see every page um, um, in a PDF format. We have of this project. We have two versions. Yeah? So we have a version or revision uh, management um, as well, which is realized by um, Autodesk uh, Vault. Yeah? So we can uh, change from work in progress to um, now it's um, it's released. Yeah. So to to create a new uh, revision. Of um, of the project, and done by the, the native and by the PDF um, data. Okay, here we have released to manufacturing, um, so everybody sees. Okay, now this um, project is locked, and uh, to create a new um, revision, uh, just to uh, yeah change it uh, and to work in progress. And now it's available for editing again. And we have here the revision B. So this makes it uh, very easy to handle our um, projects in, in Autodesk Vault and for the whole company and for the whole electric design. And of course, this is a standard. Um, here we have our um, mechanical design from, uh, from Autodesk. Yeah. So here we have all in one. With with walls, um, and um, everybody has the access um, to to uh, to the designs um, and drawings of the uh, the colleagues, which is now a standard uh, function in in Vault. Okay, that's it. Just was just short overview um, of ECS CAD with um, Vault um, and uh, Inventor integration. So uh, it makes the whole design much uh, more, more easier and much more faster. And uh, it comes from Man Machine, the project, um, and uh, it's based on Autodesk uh, technology. OK, many thanks uh, for you guys. Grazie. Um, Please contact info at uh, mum.de for further information.